Hey guys, so I'm going to do a quick tutorial video on how to harvest a Japanese maple seedling. So this is our Japanese maple up here. You can see it's very tall, it's very established, and that's the best um, thing to get seedlings from. So you can see if we look here, and my dog's going to get in the, in the video of course. Cody, come on. Sorry about that guys. So let's just get him out of the way. <laughs> Um, so you see the seedling, there's one here, there's one over here, do you see that? Um, I see another one over there, so they're all over really, and he's going to get in the video, that's alright. Um, so how to harvest these guys, make sure you have an established tree because it will drop seedlings. Now, it is end of April here, so that's usually when they the little seedlings come up. Um, at least that's when I've I've noticed the most of them have have come up. Now this is in my yard, so when the yard gets mowed, of course these will be destroyed. So it is a good thing to try to catch it early when it drops its um, when its seeds start coming up, because otherwise you won't get them. Um, I notice they don't often come up in the mulch bed, um, usually in the grass. So getting on to actually harvesting them, he's just going to lay right in the in the view but I mean he's pretty cute so he'll have to just stay there he won't move all right so in order to harvest these guys and he's gonna let's move on to one over here <laughs> sorry guys so I have a little pick a little garden pick here and what I do is I just get behind the seedling push down not too close so you don't damage the root pull up ever so slightly and what you're trying to do is just kind of wiggle it out so you don't mess with the roots ideally you want to get the whole chunk of grass out but I don't want to ruin the lawn so I'll just tap that grass down and I've successfully gotten a seedling out now this is what the roots look like at the beginning they're very under established they're just starting, and this is a good time to pot them up. So, we've got one there. Let's see if we can find another one. And he is digging out the grass. Cody, come on. All right. Um, so we had another one over here, so I'm just looking around, seeing if I can see another one. Um, and keep in mind, like I said, you want to make sure you have an established tree. So here's one here. So the way you can tell these guys is usually it's got the two seed leaves sticking up. Sometimes it's got sometimes it's got the leaves in the center. You can see that. And sometimes it's got green seed leaves like this guy here. So it's rare, more rare to have green seed leaves. You usually have red ones. Um, so they're easier to spot. Here's one. So let's grab our pick, shove down, lift up, and we're gonna pull it out gently. And sometimes this happens, guys. I had to pull it out quick because he was gonna eat it. Sometimes this happens where the root, let me see if I can zoom in on this, the root um, breaks off. It's blurring. My camera won't. It's blurring. But, uh, the root breaks off and that's no good. So you can't really pot that. Occasionally you can get these guys to, to root, but when they're this small, you might wanna just go ahead and if you have a lot of seedlings to choose from and you don't have to be picky, you might as well grab another seedling. So let's go back over. I see one here. So the best way to do it is to really get close to that seedling. So we're lifting it up. And sometimes they're really in there, so you, like I said, you want to pull out the whole patch of grass. And you really don't want to wiggle it like I'm doing. I'm just doing it for sake of the video, but here we go. It's perfect. So the whole root came out. Awesome. So we've got two more. And then you just look around, around the tree. I mean, they can go fairly far. So even if we were to walk down here, this is pretty far from the tree. All right, here's one. So we've got one here. So the tree is up here and it can go pretty far. 
So let's go and try to dig this one and lift. This one came out pretty easy. And here we go. So we got that one. And we'll go over here. And I don't really see too many more. It's probably boring to kind of just watch me walk around the grass, I'm sure. So I think three is good as an example to show you guys. I will show you the ones I harvested earlier, which was most of them. It's at the back of the garden here. Actually, I'll show you my established ones. These ones are a year old. So these are the ones that have overwintered. And I have another video on my channel regarding the overwintering process. But they're getting all their leaves now and they've got nice buds. So those are a year old for those. Let's hop on over to the tray that I planted a couple hours ago. It is end of April, if I didn't mention that already, which is a great time to harvest these guys. So, and if you notice, we're redoing our garden so it doesn't have any mesh on the doors yet, which is kind of counterproductive if you're trying to keep stuff out, but we've got all the mesh around the, around the post. Um, so this is the tray. Super excited, guys. I got to water this, but super, super excited. I have, let's see, how many did I have? 37 seedlings here. So these are all Japanese maples. We've got a dwarf in the yard that's pretty close to, um, to the main maple. So um, these, some of these might be dwarfs. I'm not sure. And so these guys that I just harvested, I will plant somewhere. Um, and yeah, so you can see, like I said... Green seed leaves sometimes, most of the time they are red. So you can see the seed leaves on most of them. Some of them have got their true leaves, which I don't know why it's zooming now and it wouldn't before, but seed leaf is here. True leaf is this crunchy looking thing. That's a true leaf. So a lot of them have that when I'm harvesting, which is great. Um, and that's that's all of them. So they will be okay in here for a while um, Until they become established and then I'll have to pot them up. So they'll each get their own pots I probably won't keep all of them considering that there's just so many um, I'll probably give some away Just considering they are a very expensive nursery plant um, And you know people enjoy These trees a lot. They're really gorgeous trees when they're in bloom. So um on to actually how to plant these things. You just got the seedling here. You dig a little hole with your finger, just so it's enough, it's deep enough for the, for the root to fit. You take it, stick it in the hole, cover with soil, tamp it down, not too, diff not too hard, and there you go. So that seedling is planted. So probably plant this guy somewhere else. I mean, I obviously have, way too many in this tray so I will have to thin out eventually but when they're this small they really don't need a lot of space I mean when they have a ton of space to grow they obviously will do better so you will want to pot them separately and that's pretty much it that's all there is to it this one I noticed it's it's root kind of got a little damaged so something like that if you notice the roots on the other guys um Something like that, it's just not worth keeping, so you can you can toss that one out. Um, but that's pretty much it, that's all there is to it. Um, I know this video ran a bit long, um, but feel free to skip around if you wanna just look at the harvesting portion, but um, I hadn't planned on like actually showing how to plant it, but you get the gist. And uh, just water them frequently. Um, they do like partial shade, or at least I've found that these seedlings do like partial shade, so you don't want them in direct sunlight all day. Um, so this will have to be moved because the garden gets quite a bit of sun. Um, as you notice, my full trees, my year old trees, they're over there and they're near the shed. So that gets a bit of shade there. And the main tree actually is right by the edge of the house. So that also gets shade. So we'll see if they do well here. Um, yeah. And that's it guys. If you have any questions about this, about the process, um, transplanting, feel free to comment in the box. Thanks.